More than a month after the historic June flood, some Valley residents still need help. Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez spent time with one organization offering assistance today. Johnny Sabeda lives in the Las Brisas subdivision. My house had never got any water inside 20 years. Last month, he had to watch as water invaded his home. Now, him and his family have been trying to rebuild. We went back home, but at the same time, we're working on the house. Sabeda says rebuilding has been a financial struggle. Anything helps. Anything that you can not spend money on can go into rebuilding your home. I mean, I've got some expenses right now as far as sheetrock, uh, the trim, the paint, you know, just different items. That's where the city of Weslaco, Team Rubicon, and the food bank jump in. Incident commander for Team Rubicon, Lloyd Wima, along with 18 volunteers, came to help pass out food, water, and cleaning supplies to over 600 people in the city of Weslaco. We've also got some teams that are uh, mucking out homes. Uh, that means they're going in and removing wet drywall, carpeting, hardwood floors that was damaged uh, from the storm. Made up of 75% veterans, Team Rubicon jumps into action whenever a disaster occurs. We're made up of just a bunch of people who want to come out and help other individuals in their time of need. Wima says they've been in the valley for around a month. We got in here, I believe, on June 25th was our first day that we went out uh, into the community to start doing damage assessments and then later on doing what we call muck outs and debris, uh, debris removal from homes. Wima says this is the last mission for Team Rubicon in the Rio Grande Valley. He says the team will start heading out to other disaster areas starting this weekend. In Westlaco, Cecilio Gutierrez, Channel 5 News, this weekend.